All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fate Apocrypha episode six. In the last episode, we had kind of Sieg and managed to gain his freedom and kind of escape onwards with Jan. Uh, obviously, Jan, you know, kind of put up the, hey, I'm a ruler, so you're not going to fuck with me. Um, <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. You know, strong as hell. Hella command spells. Let's, let's just not go there. Um, and yeah, so it looks like for this short amount of time, it seems um, Sieg, as he now chooses to, chooses to go by, uh, has given kind of been given really freedom to do obviously what he wants. Um, but from the kind of notion and kind of what Jan was saying towards the end, it definitely seems like he is destined for war in some way. Um, and to, we'll, we'll see really how he gets involved with everything. It's kind of Jan's wish to really not get him involved with stuff. So she's trying to kind of defy destiny in some sense um but yeah uh, as well as the little kind of small daydream Sieg had when he was asleep with kind of the dragon and then the command seal that looked like a dragon too very interesting to see what that is maybe something to do with Siegfried obviously um him obviously being famous for defeating Fafnir um so it could be something to do with that we will see but yeah, as always, guys, like the video, if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. What happened in the the backstory of the Knights of the Round Table for Mordra to be like this? Oh, Saber! So you killed all of her knights. Did Artoria kill her? Oh shit, she dropped Excalibur. Hey yo, what the fuck? Why she got a lance? Oh, oh my god. Bro, no way. Bro, what a way to start. My god. Oh, I got Merlin. All the boys. Hell yeah. Wait, what the fuck? It was... Mordred is... Arthur's... Like, son slash daughter. Does Arthur not know he exists at this point? Or she? Too perfect. What? Oh, so this is the witch. How did this work then? With the whole producing a child then? Why did you go and create a son if you won't acknowledge? Or did you want an actual son or what? God damn, that voice acting. Oh, she's so cute. Is that something that happens with all masters and servants? Or is it just because he's a necromancer? More Mordred content. Mordred-based episode. Let's go. Ooh, yum yum. The second. <laughs> Oh yeah, someone said this uh, to me. This this was Waver. Very surprising. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> you meant to be like a grown woman, are you? What is she doing? <laughs> is she like Park Cat or something? Bro, that background animation is hilarious. I wonder how Jack the Ripper's kind of story is going to be altered in this world. Apart from being a small female child. Jesus Christ. Has she just been killing over a homunculus? Because she's pissed off? Bro, she's a fucking freak. What a freak. Jesus. 
I want like a fate servant chessboard. That'd be awesome. We only have that dunce. I oh, want the previous saber. Is he like got really strong magical circuits then? Okay. So would I. I would love. I can't wait to see all these noble phantasms. What a weird dream. So you're just going to put yourself at risk? That seems like a waste of a command spell. I think he just said too many big words. I don't know. Wait, what, why did she... What is she doing? <laughs> Seems like all Mordred does is eat. I love it. I have a physical form. <laughs> Gotta love someone with a good appetite. But in this case, it's... Likely Jack the Ripper, and it's gonna be... Jack the Ripper's supposed to be on your team. So you'd be not helping yourself. Hell yeah, I like how they have the mutual respect for each other. They really know how to work with each other properly. Oh. Okay, so she recognizes the seven too. Such a such a cute kid. Gonna do some awful shit probably. Or has done already some awful shit. What is it? <laughs> nice. Very cool. Oh shit, it's poison? Hella foggy, bro. Oh shit, she's coming. Oh! Jesus, that was close. Holy shit, dude. She's a cool assassin. What the hell is this? <laughs> True. I guess that's why they're called servants, not always heroes. Our name is Chuck the Ripper. Oh, she can really move, though. Oh, shit. Is this the phantasm? Or is it just powering up to look cool and flex? So what, in this universe as well, even as a small female child, still kills women? But did Jack the Ripper dodge it? Oh, they're leaving, okay. Whoa, I was thinking, how the hell is she going to get around in a wheelchair? Never mind. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, we getting some fighting right now. Bro, this dude's a badass archer. Oh, shit. Oh! Damn! Bro, respect for not getting chopped in half. Okay, Doc Ock, I see you. Why do you not just... Why do you want to be in a wheelchair? Why do you not just go like that all the time? Chip, I wonder if uh, Mordred's clearly not going to die. I wonder if either the Master or Archer is going to die tonight then. Cannot mentally go through with this, lol. Is this like a magical thing or... Oh, it's like part magic, part technology, it looks like. Yeah, this car should have been blown up by now. What are these heart grenades, bro? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Nam, are you just going to be up a disabled girl like this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is he shooting thumbs at her? Interesting. Bro, what a cliffhanger. Ah. Alright, so that was Fate Apocrypha Episode 6. 
very cool episode. Uh, I like that we kind of got some a lot of Mordred content in this episode. Got obviously more uh, into kind of the backstory of what happened between her and Arthur. Um, with all, everything I've seen of Fate so far and with Artolia and whatnot, I can't say I've actually... Like we've gone, we, we went from like Zero and Bladeworks and Heaven's Feel. And then I went through Babylonia, which didn't have any Arthur in it. And then we had went to Camelot, which showed a bit of obviously Arthur's past, but it never really touched on Mordred properly. And now I'm finally here at Apocrypha and I'm starting to actually see some backstory. Um, very much looking forward to it. I uh, can't say that I wasn't, well, really excited to see something in, in, to do with Arthur's past uh, more than we got in Camelot. Uh, and obviously seeing the connection between her and Mordred as well. All a little confusing because obviously uh, how that worked with Arthur producing Mordred uh, with the witch. I don't know. It's a witch. I suppose some funky shit went down there. Um, but yeah, it's very... I see, the, I see the reason why Mordred's pissed off now. I mean, Arthur was clearly correct uh, being, you know being King Arthur, obviously couldn't see a worthy king in Mordred, especially not one that would likely be able to wield Excalibur. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. And yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an nice rest of your day and peace out.